This is a video on a confidence interval for a proportion. The question states, a survey was taken of 800 randomly selected students, asking them if they use public transportation to get to class. 120 answered that they did. Construct a 95% confidence interval for this proportion. So let's start out by writing our cast of characters. Since 120 of the students answered they took public transportation, that's the x. So x is 120. 800 students participated in the survey. That's the sample size. So n is equal to 800. We want a 95% confidence interval. That's called the C level on the calculator. So the C level is 0 0.95. Let's make sure that our sample size is large enough to be able to use a normal distribution for this confidence interval calculation. So to do that, we need to calculate NP hat and NQ hat to make sure they're both bigger than 5. So NP hat, that's actually just the number of successes, and 120 answered yes. So 120 is definitely bigger than 5. And Q hat is the number of failures. That's just 800 minus 120, or n minus x. And that's 680, which is also bigger than 5. So I can use the normal distribution in these calculations. So now let's go to the calculator. So here's the calculator. To get to the confidence interval calculations, I go to stat. And then I go to tests, so I use a right arrow twice. And then I go down a lot. Until I get to one prop z int. One means a single sample. Prop means proportions. And z int means a confidence interval and using a normal distribution. So I hit enter. So x is 120. Enter. n is 800. Enter. The C level is 0 0.95. Enter. And I hit enter for calculate. And that gives me my confidence interval of 0.12526 comma 0.17474. I'm going to round to about 0.13 and 0.17. Also, p hat is the proportion of successes, and that's calculated as 0.15. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. OK, so remember our calculator gave us that the confidence interval was about 0.13 to 0.17, and that p hat was equal to 0.15. So let's look at this on a picture. We have our normal distribution curve, and a 95% confidence interval means the area in the middle, in between 0.13 and 0.17, is 95%, or 0.95. So the area on each tail is going to be 0 0.025, so that they add up to 5%. So I'm ready to state my conclusion. I can conclude that we are 95% confident that between 13% and 17% of all college students use public transportation to get to class. Let's also understand what this 95% means. That's a probability, so let's find out what this 95% probability represents. So here's how I interpret it. If we were to calculate many such confidence intervals by surveying 800 students each time, then we would get each time a different confidence interval for each study. 95% of these confidence intervals would contain the true population proportion, P, of students that use public transportation. 
and I'm done with the problem. 